Hey, what is going on to Nintendo Nation? Hope you're having an awesome day. It's almost 11 p.m. here in the UK, so I can't be super loud, but we're about to start the Nintendo Direct of uh, the 4th of September, basically, which is going to have Pokemon Sword and Shield and Luigi's Mansion and pretty much games from 2019. I'm hoping there's going to be Animal Crossing. I'm hoping we get a Mario Strikers game, and I'd love Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Those are kind of like my quick hopes, and like they're not even predictions. I don't expect that. Um, I think we have to see a few 2020 games because we don't know much apart from... Um, Animal Crossing and I may be Breath of the Wild 2, although that might be 2021, so super excited for this. Um, like I said, volume's not going to be too high because I don't want to wake any of my family because they're all asleep and yeah, it, it, it just would not be good. So I'm going to be making videos throughout the night, hopefully, and uh, depending on what is shown, but super excited for this, guys. Nintendo Directs is like Christmas come early, so yeah, I just can't wait for this. Here we go, perfect. <laughs> Let's go. So hopefully I have sound, although I... Oh, it's muted. Oop. There we go. That would have made sense, so I'll mute it. Overwatch, of course. This has been leaked for a while. This is kind of coming to the Switch a bit too late, in my opinion. Like, it's still big, but I don't know. Video ain't sponsored by Pepsi, by the way. I wish it was. <laughs> um. I'll be interested to see how this sells, because it was massive when it came out. It should have probably come to Switch 2017, 2018 at the very latest, so... Better late than never though, I guess. Oh, new ways to play? Oh, I see. That's weird. Gyro? No thanks. I hate gyro movement. Oh, watch a good game. I used to play it quite a bit, and I've just not touched it in a few years, though. Like. No, I doubt this will get me back into it, but if you like Overwatch and you've never played it, definitely worth checking it out. Now, will we get Tracer for Smash? I doubt it. I really don't think so. Oh yeah, Smash. I forgot to mention that. We'll get Banjo release date and we'll get um, maybe a look at the Hello, next everyone. character, but we'll see. I'm Shinya Takahashi. So... And that was... My boy Shinja. Shinja? What did he say? Shinja. The game is scheduled for release on Nintendo Switch October 15th. So please look forward. October 15th, that's alright. Damn. Okay, Just a month. That's crazy. Here we go. Please take a look. Alright, give me some Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Mario Strikers. Alright, oh yeah, Luigi's Mansion. <laughs> this looks okay. I'm not Luigi's Mansion fan. But I've never played them to be fair. Apart from the arcade thing. Interesting. That looks cool. Oh, boo. Ooh. Let's go. <laughs> My boy Luigi. I love Luigi way more than Mario. So. The multiplayer in this game looks really fun, to be fair. Oh, even more. Ooh. Oh, that's so cool. That'd be a good party game. If you have eight Joy-Cons. <laughs> Perfect. I'm interested to see how that gets reviewed. Pokemon next? Oh. Get a load of this new free to start Kirby. Oh. Weird. Yo, James, let's go. It's me. Oh, is it like a boss rush? Hmm. It doesn't look like a massive Kirby game in terms of it doesn't look really polished and stuff. It looks fine, but it doesn't look like Switch graphics to me. But hey, it's Kirby. I like Kirby, so. So is it free to play? They said. Or did I just get that wrong? I doubt it's free. But it still looks good, like fun. It'll be time to unite with friends and players from around the world and overcome each challenging quest when Super Kirby Clash Today. later Ooh. today. 
crazy. Remember, it's free to start oh, it, oh, it's free to start. So you'll have to pay maybe after a certain bit. This long hmm. Oh, Charles of Mana. Oh, yeah. RPG is getting a remake. After 25 years, fans of the Mana series can look forward to the HD remake of the third game in the trilogy, Trials of Mana. From six different characters, you'll choose a protagonist and two companions. That looks quite nice in terms of graphics. It looks quite nice. I like JRPGs. I'm a big JRPG fan. Okay. This interference will not be forgotten. As each character advances, they'll have the opportunity to switch their class, allowing them to learn stronger special moves and spells. I might get this. I actually like the, the art style, and I, I just love JRPGs. It looks a bit like Dragon Quest, this. I mean, in terms of just the art style, not the. I'm not sure about combat, but. Okay, 2020. So we have a 2020 game. That's good. Whether that's going to be a system seller, I doubt it. Pokemon? I feel like they're going to get that out of the way soon. Nope. I'll just. We'll just wait for Pokemon now. Ooh, interesting art style. That was really retro, but like it's like a Game Boy game, but in 3D. That's really cool. Your analysis will rely heavily on one less than ordinary device. Use the power of the Momentum Mortem Pocket Watch to turn back time and witness each soul's last moment. Ooh. You bastards may taste exactly what I give you. Explore the ship. It looks very weird. This is, I'm not sure if this is for me. Not the not the biggest fan of the art style, but it's different. I'll give it that. Little by little, tease apart the misfortunes of the ship and its crew to solve the mystery. Return of the Oberdin arrives on Nintendo. Fair enough. Interesting. I'll keep an eye on that, but I'm not too fussed about that. Oh, Game Freak's town. Looking a bit laggy. Never leave town. That is the rule agreed upon by the people of this peaceful town. That frame rate is not good. One day. Oh dear. I can't tell if it's a stream. A giant monster. To defend the townspeople. One boy named Axe. Oh god. Stand up to face it. Is it just me who sees that as really choppy frame rate? I really hope that's a stream because otherwise that's not good. You must know when to use them. Strategy is everything if there's any hope to win. During battle, so yeah, basically Game Freak is split into making this game and Pokemon Sword and Shield. Take advantage to gain the advantage. Seize every opportunity to protect your town in this new RPG from Game Freak. And almost all the music in the game was composed by Undertale creator Toby Fox. Oh wow, that's cool. Little Town Hero will make a stand on Nintendo Switch October 16th. Wow, that's coming out way quicker than I thought. It didn't look great. I remember seeing this originally, I thought it looked okay, but that footage didn't look great to me. Banjo, let's go. Right, I'm thinking an October release date, release date. Late October. There we go. It's like a YouTube video, release date confirmed. Bro! After today's Nintendo wow. We'll broadcast a video detailing <laughs> wow! Did not expect that. Did not expect that. That's crazy. Because Hero feels like it's just come out. The video will begin immediately following the Nintendo Direct you're watching right now. Damn. Guess I'm playing Banjo tomorrow. Over until the release of Banjo and Kazooie. Please check it out. So normally in Europe we have to wait really like, oh, a new Smash character. I don't know who to predict for this. I'd love 2B from Nia. I'd love... I, I could... Oh. Okay. Wait. What's this going to be? Oh, the SNK one. Oh my god, here it is.
I don't know what this is going to be. Is it... Oh, it's Metal Slug, is it? Oh, no. You know, I don't know what to make of this. <laughs> Oh dear, that's an L. That's an L. It's gonna be a, a female. That's what I've heard. Is it her? I've seen rumours it's her. I guess it's not her. That's a. That's a shame. <laughs> Everyone's failing. He looks so sad. Okay, never mind. It's like light Yagami laugh. So I guess this is who Sakurai really wants, because I'm not going to lie, this doesn't sound like the most popular inclusion, but we'll see. Uh, oh, Terry. I saw Peter Terry being linked. I heard it was a female, but is it because of the ponytail? I don't know much about what that game, I can't remember the, what that's from, let's see. Fatal Fury, okay, I've heard of Fatal Fury. I just, okay. Oh, November, damn. That's that's not too bad, that. So we got one more character left. I actually thought that was going to be the fifth character. So, Terry Bogard from Fatal Fury is joining the battle. That means we've revealed four one remains. That's a great lineup, though, looking at that. Really it's all third party. Oh, don't tell me what they're doing. We're yeah, they are. Wow. I heard they weren't going to do that, so that's awesome. Well, let's go. Well played. Honestly, I didn't think they'd do a DLC pack 2, so that's really good. Make that money, Nintendo. Let's go. I'm happy with that. I want to see gameplay Terry before I decide. Like, he looks quite cool. I've seen him before. Give me Animal Crossing. Give me Animal Crossing. It's about okay, that's coming out soon, to be fair. Not too bothered about this game. Um, I'm just not a Legend of Zelda f I am a Legend of Zelda fan, but I'm also not. Like, it's certain games I love, and then... I don't know. This will be very good. It's just not for me. Whatever happens, help Link escape Koholint Island before its mysteries get the best of him. I'm still hoping for Crash, by the way, Crash Bandicoot for Smash. I like the art style for this, it's a bit different. I know some people don't. Hmm. I forgot to mention. Gonna be a Monolith Soft. No, Mo yeah, is that it? Monolith Soft? Um, the people do Xenoblade. I don't know why the name, I've either got it right or I'm just blanking on it. Um, but they've all retweeted uh, the Nintendo Direct today, so I expect to see maybe Xenoblade 3, um, maybe a Xenoblade X or Xenoblade Chronicles 1 port would be quite nice. This game looks so good. The old man. I mean, this this direct has already been really good. The fact that we got so a Smash character, Banjo, out today. Um, more Smash characters coming. I'm forgetting something really big for what I read in the Kirby game. Um, yeah, so many games coming out this month. I'm going to have to wait for that one. Uh, I'm not going to get it straight away, but <laughs> it looks so good. Oh. I'm, I'm going to hold off, I'll be honest. Like... I'm just looking forward to playing that game when I have time. I've still got to finish all my Fire Emblem playthroughs. I've got Astral Chain. For more Fire oh, Tokyo Mirage? Say hello to Tokyo. That's going to pull off. Wow. The Fire Emblem series and Alice games have crossed paths. I kind of always wanted to play this game, but it was so weird. This doesn't look like a HD remaster. I think it's just a port. This is so weird, this game, but it looks quite good. 
You'll face off against this threat as up-and-comer Itsuki Aoi and his friends who are trying to make it in the entertainment business. Yeah, I've not seen anything from this game. That didn't look like from. Together, you'll wage deep turn-based battles, blending the combat of the Fire Emblem and Shin Megami Tensei series. And yeah, can we get Persona 5 or Persona 4 and 3? Oh. There's a new song that wasn't included oh, just a song. Be sure to check out the other new features from the new story elements to the characters joining you in battle for the first time. Yeah, I've kind of always wanted to check this game out, so Tokyo I'll probably get that. Sharp FE Encore releases on January 17th. That's 2020. Give us that Animal Crossing goodness. Today. Welcome back to where nothing is what it seems. How's this? Boston. Boston. Oh, Deadly Premonition 2. When FBI agent Aaliyah Davis opens an investigation into an old serial killer case, she also opens a door to the unknown. A door that also takes us back to New Orleans 14 years ago. Here are stories the music's trippy. FBI agent who goes by the name of York. The journey between past and present will take Aaliyah and York on a winding path. But what lies at the end? Truth or madness? This is a weird looking game. I can't remember if that's on another console or not. I don't think that's exclusive, because it looked a bit dated. Ooh. The original game in the series will launch a Nintendo eShop at Deadly Premonition Origins later today. That's good. I'm pretty sure I've heard of Deadly Premonition before. It looks similar. Uh, familiar. Oh wow. That's a big game. I've never played these, but I've heard they're amazing, or at least very, very good. Uh, they've won a lot, on a lot of awards, I'm pretty sure. I'm just... I've no idea what this gameplay is. Just... Oh wow, that's very good. Cross save is we need more of that. What is going on chicken form? I'll tell you what, I bet this game does pretty well on the Switch. Like in terms of sell more than people think. That was decent. Like Available today, Nintendo Switch are killing it. And now for a message yeah. Man, if this was like 2006, I would have cared. On behalf of everyone at id Software, I'm excited to announce something really cool that we have coming to Nintendo Switch later this year. I'm sure many of you have fond memories of Doom 2? countless hours playing your favorite games on Nintendo 64. What? Oh. This year is the 25th anniversary of Doom, one of the most popular first I was going to say, if they brought Oblivion to Switch, and I would play my Switch we'll every day. One of our favorite games, Doom 64. For the first time since its original release in 1997, Doom 64 will be officially available on a Nintendo console. Relive your crusade against the demons in more than 30 action-packed levels. Or, if you're a newcomer, experience the retro first-person shooter that helped make Doom one of the most Yeah, I, this is a pretty iconic game, to be fair. But, just not too bothered me. <laughs> I think this is more of a nostalgia thing. Will release on Nintendo Switch on November 22nd this year. Fair play. Introducing a brand new IP from developer High Res Studios, Rogue Company. To most of the world, hmm. Rogue what have High Res done? Let me have a look. But its operatives are the real deal, and as one of these elite I recognize them. You'll face challenges which will require your specialized abilities and tools to combat the infamous organization Jackal. Play against friends or match up with a similarly skilled team online in a variety of objective-based game modes. Alright, they've done like Paladins and Smite. Gadgets or melee weapons, your playstyle will depend on your choice of mercenary, which can be fully customized. There will be plenty of modes, maps, weapons, skins, in-game events, and more. When Rogue Company sneaks up on Nintendo Switch... That did nothing for me, that trailer, I'll be honest. The amount of shooting games there are. FPS games. Okay, gotta pay attention. Impotent, gonna be finally revealed. Oh, and starter evolutions, as in the middle evolutions, I expect. 
Here we go. Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. Miraculous has got in. Galaregia, a scenic land where people and Pokemon work together toward a prosperous future. Leafion. Among them, you'll encounter new Pokemon and meet new people throughout your adventure. Eevee, loving it. Today, we'll cover four features you can look forward to. Okay. Maybe no new Pokemon. Oh. Yes, customization. Once Love again, it. The latest entry in the series lets you pick your outfit. <gasps> Okay. This time, it's not oh wow, this looks so much better. But a wide variety, including outerwear and gloves. Gloves. Okay, this looks so good. Customization. And you can wear what gym leaders wear. That looks so much easier to see. Or put on a little makeup. There's a lot more to becoming a champion that looks than simply honing your battles. So much more in depth. Too, don't you think? God, she looks so different. Second. Pokemon po camp. camp. Yep, that got leaked. During your journey through the Gala region, you can camp any time at Pokemon Camp. Hang on, that's not shiny, is it? That's just a, a variant. Play with your Pokemon, and as you get to know them better, they'll also improve in battle. Additionally, in the wild area, it looks like secret bases. Players camps too. Oh, that's cool. Feel free to bring along one of this game, I know it's been splitting people. This looks good. Like, it looks good. I know Pokemon has high standards, but I don't know. I think this looks good. But that. Yo, Brock. So we got Ryulu. And so Lucario is. Oh no, we knew Lucario was going to be in, actually. My boy. Brock would be so proud. This is like cooking Mama. I am just going to spend all my time on Pokemon Camp. Ooh, this is so weird. But I'm loving it. How's it New Pokemon? Yeah, Teapot. Poltygeist. It makes a home for itself by hiding is that the teapot thing we saw? That looks good. Its body is made of tea, Cause like, with its own aroma and flavor. that's weird. It may even allow a trusting trainer to taste its tea. This ghost I'm good. <laughs> also has a special ability called weak armor. Next, another new Pokemon called Cramor. Right, this has been leaked. I'm sure it has. It's going to pick up a fish. I think it's going to pick up a fish from what I've heard. Yeah. Yeah, this has been leaked from a while ago. And this is a Pokemon as well, I'm pretty sure. That's crazy. It was like... I mean, this game looks good. So the, it was like a Barracuda Pokemon from what I've heard. That's enough info for me, that wasn't too much. That was good. I can wait two months. Yeah, it's been a bit disappointing, I'll be honest. Providing a variety of games and fun features. Tetris 99, good. Give us... Now, we're looking to add in an additional library of games. It's called Super Nintendo I'll, Entertainment I'll take that. Nintendo Switch I still like N64. You can play a variety of classic Super NES games. Yoshi's Island! Love it. Well, this is basically everything that was on the SNES Mini, right? There are some you may not expect. Like Stunt Race FX. I, I don't know that game, I'll be honest. Who Oh, that's yeah, Arl and Carbon. Well, at least Arl. Uh, Carbon Core, so. Interesting. That's good, honestly. It just, it's just worth it for me for Yoshi's Island. I adore Yoshi's Island, one of my favourite games of all time. I'm very happy with that, because I'm not too bothered about NES games. 
Look at him in it. He's got it in his pocket, the controller. What a lad. Oh, is it a wireless one? Yeah, I've heard about this. Definitely put my drink down on the uh, on my mouse. USB C. I think I'll pass. I'm not too bothered about those controllers, but that's still cool for those who want it. It's still and thirty dollars ain't too bad for it. I don't think. So how long have we got left? We got sixteen minutes, so that's enough to show quite a bit. Oh, I played this for like a week or two, and it's I love Tetris. Okay. Is it like ranked? I'm good. I'm good to be honest. You can acquire tickets from exchange room for a variety of custom games. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Tossing in a vast array of new player icons too. Beyond that, the second wave of paid DLC. Oh, there's a paid DLC? Wait, you, you have to pay for that? For multiplayer? It's a bit weird. If that's what's said. I mean, it's a free game anyway. It's not too bad. Animal Crossing, please, please. Okay, Marion Sonic Olympics. I remember buying the first one on the DS. Hell yeah, football. Oh, they said it right as well, not soccer. Um, badminton, let's go. I do want a Mario Strikers game though. Thing is, it's like they have so many different sports. It's like, is the quality as like in depth as I'd like it? Maybe not, but I, I'm very tempted to get this game. I love Mario, I love Sonic, and I love sport, so... Oh, is that why you had to... Okay. I'm very tempted, I'm not gonna lie. I think I might pick that up. I didn't play the demo, but this game looks good. Like, you can tell Nintendo are backing this game quite a bit. Oh yeah, that's very soon. I, for some reason, I thought it was next month. Which one's this? Old. Oh. I like the style of this. I remember games when, when games look like this. I kind of like the graphics and the the physics and stuff. I mean, they just. The amount of games are just like here, here is out today. Here's another game. It's crazy. Animal Crossing. Witcher Three. I need to finish this game. Only honestly, from what I've heard, one of the best games of all time. 
downloadable content and story expansions are along for the ride. I just don't think it's going to run that well. Yeah. I heard that this was coming. This got leaked a few days ago. I'm not a big fan of Assassin's Creed. Oh. Yeah, what's it? A oh, Dauntless, that's it. I wonder why it's going to end on this direct. They always end on something big. Maybe Animal Crossing. That's what I think they would. But, or maybe, actually, no, they end on new reveals, don't they? Do you say so? Nino Kuni? I was about to say Gran Turismo, but that's not right. A just Dance, love it. Oh, Grid. Of course it's Grid. All, all four GTs, let's go. <laughs> that looks quite good, to, to be honest. I've never played a Final Fantasy Simulator game. But they're pretty popular, to be fair. Nino Kuni, so I do have to say there's a HD remaster coming out. The Switch version is not HD remaster, that's just a port, so don't get fooled is all I say. But it's still very good. Just don't expect it looking amazing. What is this? Oh, Call of Cthulhu. Interesting. I think this came out earlier this year, from what I remember. Uh, New Vegas creators made that, I'm pretty sure, I can't remember. What they got? Devil May Cry 2, interesting. How long we got left? I'm thinking like 10 minutes. Yeah, we got 10 minutes. This is Animal Crossing, I'm feeling it. Next up, Animal Crossing, New Horizons. Yes! We revealed many details about the game back in June, so we I called it. As, as Detective Pikachu would say, I feel it in my jellies. My boy Tom Nook, here to steal more money off me. Oh, I'm so happy to make Animal Crossing videos again. Show me it. Oh, I just, I didn't expect to see Animal Crossing in a way, but I'm so happy. That's the plane. Oh, the I'll shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Dodo Airlines. Back, relaxing time and a haven of nature awaits. For you in That's the why I saw a turtle in the river. In the getaway package, the time's come to get into the groove of deserted island life. Are any of these new? Deserted island, but the resident services building at its center is here to support your needs, so there's nothing to worry about. I want to see if I recognize any of these villages. We'll provide you with a tent. Thank you. It's better than nothing. Select the spot where you'd like it set up. So you can put it anywhere, which is great. Oh, and there's I've... something else. We'd like to offer you an original Nook Inc. Nook phone. <laughs> what a lad. Comes pre-installed with a variety of apps for all Cameras, awesome. I've always wanted a camera, like a proper camera. Recipes for crafting tools and furniture. Let's start by crafting an axe. We're going to need some materials, like branches. I've covered, I've made a video on this, <laughs> how to craft already. So, then we'll I know what, resident services I know how this works. Workbench. Nicely done. So last time we, this is kind of our first look at a male you character, isn't it? Tools you craft to acquire new materials, like this. And with those, you can craft more items. Feel free to place furniture inside. Okay. Or outside. I feel a bit bad, but this. Okay, that's cool. Um, this kind of just seems to be a recap of the first trailer. I'm really hoping they show something else. But hey, can't complain. I love Animal Crossing, so. Let's head back to resident services. Here we sell tools and furniture. 
What's that? That was a cardboard box. Okay. I'm worried it's like one bell per weed, so... You can also earn Nook Miles through the Nook Mileage program. You can exchange your miles for special items and recipes. <laughs> weed eater. of activities on the island, so be sure to take advantage of this program. There are many ways Ooh, okay. to experience the joys this looks of life on like a different season, island. like maybe like autumn. I don't know, it just looks a bit darker the grass in it. That's spring, I want to say. Very cool. Is that filbert? Lily. I'm trying to just I a vaulting pole makes it easy to quickly cross a river. I'm assuming we can build bridges. Like we won't always need that. We'll help you shovel up a tree in no time. Oh, what dog is that? Plant it oh, I know his name. Why can I not remember? Oh, he just sat down. He just sat down. That is like a a big thing. Oh no, actually we did see that in the first trailer, but I've always wanted a bit more interactive um rainfall like villages. Wow, that's so cool! Wind effect. Depending on the time of day and the season, you oh, so different <gasps> Rold! It's my boy Rold! He's one of my favourites, I'm so happy. <laughs> Rold, Savannah, Dizzy, those three are my top three. Oh my god, we got to see Rold. Types who live well, I'm liking the clothing. Yes, yeah, multiplayer. At a time on one Very cool. You enjoy so you can't really go off the screen too much. With a local wireless or internet oh my God. connection, you can travel to another player's island for a total of eight players in one visit. Looks so good. The whole scene feels meant to be. Why not snap a photo with everyone? That's so good. That's memory. Oh, red snapper. I want to see. Oh, How's can we? Oh, I'll right see if we could dive into the sea again. Is truly just the beginning. I, that's what I mean. I feel like there's so much we've not seen of this game. It looks so beautiful. Rosie! Angus. Dance. Oh. Is that a new... I don't recognise that villager. Oh, a bait. Oh, that's a bait thing we saw earlier. I mean, I was kind of hoping they'd bump up the release date somehow, but that was a very good trailer. There's still a bit more time until the game launches. I'm so ready for that. You guys know I'm going to make so many Animal Crossing videos. Right. The next game will be our last announcement of the day. Please give it a look. Mario Kart 9, Paper Mario, Mario Strikers, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. I'm getting my hopes up. Give me... Xenoblade. It's Xenoblade. That is Xenoblade. I want to say this is Xenoblade 1, it looks like. Yeah, pretty sure. To support of Xenoblade Chronicles 1? Mm hmm, mm hmm. It's our boy Shulk. I've still not finished 2. I put like 50 hours into it and I've still not finished it. Do you wish to change it? Huh? The future. <laughs> Go for it, Shulk. Yeah, this kind of flopped on the Nintendo 3DS in terms of, it just wasn't really meant for the 3DS. So I'm really glad they're giving this a, a proper port. I'm not sure if this is a H, it looked like a HD remake. Twenty twenty, good. We got another 2020 game. I say good, it makes it sound like I don't want it now, but I, I just feel like we need a few more games for next year. On the Wii system is destined to be reborn on Nintendo Switch as Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. I know some of my arrows going mad. <laughs> in 2020. Please look forward to more announcements in the future. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Oh, Banjo Kazooie demonstration. Well, I'm probably not going to stick around for that, but very good. Very good Nintendo Direct. Um, I'm just going to quickly pause this. So, um, pretty much. Got Animal Crossing, which is what I wanted. More Pokemon stuff. My Mystery Dungeon, Mario Strikers, you know, all that kind of stuff. It didn't happen. I didn't expect it to. But I was pretty damn pleased with that. So, um, like I said, 
Apologies for quiet audio, but can't help it. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments below what was your favourite game revealed. And um, yeah, I'll uh, I'll be working throughout the night on some Pokemon and probably Animal Crossing tomorrow, I think. Uh, but yeah, super excited, guys. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you on the next video. Peace.